Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video in particular, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the GNU Octave application installed on your Linux distribution. So before I get started, I should say that there are a lot of different ways that you can install the Octave app. I'm going to be going over how you can get it working with the uh, Flatpak system because a lot of distributions use Flatpak and uh, this way we can cover everybody. I generally like to talk about Flatpak if I can. So uh, that's what we'll do. So you can do it in a lot of different ways. I'm going to show you the terminal method, but uh, to start off, you can check the article in the description for more info, by the way, but to start off, you can just search Flathub for the app. And uh, GNU Octave is right here. And of course, I also have the command written out in the article, but uh, then you would just do sudo flatpak install flathub, name of the app, tack y, enter your passcode. It's going to look for matches and it's going to download everything that we need to run this. So we need the IPC stuff, Wayland Pulse Audio, all this different stuff. But uh, small files. The KDE SDK in particular, though, was pretty large. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> lots of downloads. I will be right back. So Octave is installed, so now we can search for it in our application menu and launch it up. Now, I'm not a mathematician, so I don't understand how this program works, but I do know that it's pretty good for mapping out data, visualizing it, and if you're a scientist or a, a uh, somebody who needs to visualize with data and do a lot of analytics, this is definitely something that I would check out. More information in the link below. I'm going to start it up though and we will take a look at it really quick. So here is GNU Octave. Again, I don't really understand what this program, I don't know how to use it because I'm not a math wizard, but uh, here, we, we, here we have it running on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out GNU Octave, all the information for the article is in the description of this video and I will see you guys in the next one.